Our next speaker would be Mr. Francis, Elder Francis. Yes, thank you. Oh, okay. So, uh, <coughs> the legitimacy of the Ambazonian nation and its restoration government. The right to self-determination of people is captured in Article 1, Paragraph 2 and 55 of the Charter of the United Nations, articulated in, articulated in common Article 1 of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights and the International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights, as well as in Article 20 of the African Charter on Human and People's Rights. Ambazonians. Ambazonians claim this right as was endorsed on 21 April 1961 by the General Assembly of the United Nations in its resolution number 6, 1608. The United Nations General Assembly endorsed this decision based on the well-founded fact that as a UN trust territory, Ambazonia was qualified, subject of international law and had international personality, a separate political, constitutional, and territorial existence. At the time of United Nations decision, Ambazonia enjoyed internal self-government as from 1954 and was endowed with a state constitution by 1960. The territory of Ambazonia is well-defined, delimited and demarcated by international boundary treaties. The agreement between Great Britain, Great Britain and Germany respecting the settlement of the frontier between Nigeria and the Cameroons from Yola to the sea. 11 March 1930. The Franco-British declaration respecting the frontier between British Cameroons and French Cameroon. 10 July 1990, as well as the declaration made by the governor of the colony and protectorate of Nigeria and the governor of the French Cameroon determining the frontier between British Cameroons and French Cameroon on the 9th of January 1931. These frontiers had become permanent when Cameroon and Nigeria respectively gained their independence on 1st January 19 on 1st January and 1st October 1960. As per the African Union principle of inter intangibility of borders. Appallingly, the UN approved Ambazonian independence was illegal, undermined by neighboring Cameroon when, one month prior to the UN set independence date of 1st October 1961, they enacted an annexation law in their parliament and marched their troops into Ambazonia to begin a brutal occupation that has lasted to this day. So evidently, there exists no legal document that attests to a union treaty between Ambazonia and Cameroon. Ambazonians therefore reject the notion that, that they are separatists. Ambazonia has never been a part of Cameroon and cannot possibly secede from a country of which they have never been a part. Ambazonians are restorationists seeking to restore the independence and sovereignty of their nation and to protect her, her against her aggressive neighbor to the east. It was in the light that Ambazonians declared the restoration of independence of, um, <coughs> on the 1st of October 2017 and soon after elected a government led by His Excellency Sesiko Julius Ayub Tabe. By occupying Ambazonia, Cameroon continues to violate all international treaties mentioned above. This foreign occupation of Ambazonia is driven only by economic interests, as Ambazonia is the source is the source sixty percent of Cameroon's GDP, and constitutes the major source of the atroc atrocious colonial tax which Cameroon pays to France every year. France being a country with much um, uh, which Ambazonia has absolutely no histor historical ties, 
we hereby call on the United Nations and the African Union to prevail on the government of Cameroon and its allies to immediately withdraw all their forces of occupation and civil administrators from Ambazonian territory. We also call on the United Nations and the African Union to deploy peacekeeping troops to Ambazonia to end war crimes being committed there by the occupation forces of Cameroon and Chad. So Cameroon has gone far away to employ mercenaries from Chad to kill Ambazonians. That's what's happening as, we, as I speak. And to also ensure their swift orderly withdrawal from Ambazonia. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Francis.